Howdy Beast Nation, General Driggers here once again to talk about outward mindset or what I'm calling beast mentality. I'd like to return to the topic of self-deception and how often it can ruin attempts to resolve conflict. In one of the earlier videos I talked about how we all have blind spots, especially when we're inwardly minded. It's Unfortunately, it's part of self-deception. Another part of self-deception is that we can overestimate our own virtue and sometimes we'll actually discount the virtue and goodness in others. Or in some cases where we may be in conflict, maybe the other party, they might not actually be so good or so virtuous. But that doesn't mean that they don't have reasons for what they do, reasons that are just as valid to them as yours are to you. And the danger here is that we tend to believe our own press, so to speak. And in doing so, often when we're inward, we discount their reasons, their logic. Uh, the weird part about this is those blind spots are more often than not right at the crucial areas of the relationship. In the end, you risk furthering the conflict. You might win the battle, but you're not going to win the peace. But whenever you see the other human as a human with needs, objectives, and wants equal in validity to yours, even if you disagree with them, if you take those needs, wants, and objectives into account, things can change. When you listen, really listen, you might find their rationale will illuminate ways to address the conflict you might not have seen before. And whether the resolution goes in your favor, it goes in their favor, or a win-win, or even against both of you, when you approach conflict with an outward mindset, you have a far better chance of winning the peace. Think of the difference between how World War I ended and how World War II ended. World War I ended with allies seeking to punish Germany, but in a way that guaranteed there would be no chance for lasting peace. By contrast, projects like the Marshall Plan and others following World War II fundamentally recognized the human needs and objectives of those defeated and ultimately won the peace, and in fact led to some of our strongest alliances we have today. So Peace Nation, as you go ahead and get after it, hopefully you consider these thoughts and continue to work on getting after an outward mindset so that we can get after our crucial mission. Till next time, Dirk Driggers out.